Cheers, guys. Happy Thursday. I did have to think about that, and we are seriously kicking it old school today. You know why? Ah. For those of you who have been tuning into my channel for a while, you know that this is like what I, this is what I used to do when I first started my YouTube channel. And just in case Mr. Flo turns it, tunes in, Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, it's been a while since I've been working out regularly and lifting weights. Like we're talking a year and a half, bro. So you got to give me time to get my swole back. But it will be back. Uh, it will be back. I just did, uh, and and this is this is why I have to. I have to fop, huh, for posterity's sake, but also just to mark the moment. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that it is 5.40, and probably I should look on my Voxer, but probably maybe an hour ago, maybe, I was sitting on the steps upstairs of my house, Voxing with my assistant, saying, Angie, number one, I'm upset that I didn't get my workout in this morning. Number two, I didn't get my YouTube video done. And I really, I, I, I've committed to doing both of these, but I, I'm so, it's, you guys, my puppy is home today. He's not in doggy daycare today. And he's been a very, very naughty boy today. And when I went upstairs first to do the workout, I was putting on my tennis shoes Sidebar, do you call your workout shoes tennis shoes like I do, or do you call them sneakers, or do you call them trainers? What do you call them? I'm just curious. Leave, them in the, leave that in the comments below. I'm, I've just always called them tennis shoes, but clearly I don't play tennis. There you go. I'm 53, and when I was growing up, health clubs were, were not called he even health clubs. They were called tennis clubs, so I think that's where it came from. Um, but anyway, when I was upstairs, that's where our workout room is. We have, um, we have a house that's way too big for us, but that's the way the real estate market was when we were house shopping. And so my husband and I <laughs> live in a house that's really meant for like 14 people. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it, it, we really primarily use the first floor our, and our master suite is on the first floor. I thought my cabinet was open. Um, but upstairs, we've made this like, what I call a loft. It's not really a loft, it's just a big, probably what most people would use is like a media room. Um, and we've made it into our workout room. And um, then there was also what some guy turned into, I guess it was like a man cave, like a actual movie room. Um, I was surprised my husband did not want to make that into a man cave. Um, I have turned that into what I thought was going to be a yoga room, but at this phase of my life, I'm actually not doing yoga. So I've made that into the room that was going to be like my Tracy Anderson sweat, sweaty workout room. It's got a big screen TV <laughs> and now I'm kind of back to doing my other workouts. So I don't use it as much, but we'll see, you know, I might start adding yoga back in. But what I have in that, why am I telling you all this? I don't know, but I'm just gonna finish the statement. In that room, there's, uh, it's got room darkening shades, so it's really nice. It is perfect for, for yoga. And then I, I bought these two infrared heaters, um, and then it's got a refrigerator for all of our water, and um, so there's that. But anyway, I go upstairs and uh, putting on my shoes, and Bijan is uh, over on the other side of the room and he just starts peeing. Why? I don't know, ask him. Uh, he is fully potty trained and there have been, there was one other week about two weeks ago where he just had these like two behavioral days where up there uh, he went poop two days just like out of the blue after like, he, he's only been with us, so he's six months old, 
He's only been with us for three of those months, and he's been fully potty trained for, I, I mean, it, I mean, literally, like probably two months. And then out of the blue, about two weeks ago, he poops upstairs one day, and then the next day, he poops again. And, and then that same day, he peed up there. And we're like, what is going on? Does our dog need therapy? Like, and then the same next day, um, he was, there's a rug over here by the kitchen. He was like licking one area of the rug repeatedly. And then he was out on the patio licking one area of the patio. And I looked up all these things and they all said that everything, they said it was behavioral and that, that usually means that a dog is stressed out about something. And <sighs> anyway, we were like, what could he possibly, this is like literally the most spoiled dog on the planet. Um, so we're looking up getting a trainer. I feel, I feel literally like the biggest yuppie parent dog train dog I, honestly like I, I mean we're still going to get him a trainer why am I talking about all of this let's focus Kelly focus so I got very upset at Bijan I brought him down here I yelled at him appropriately and I'm sure that stressed him out even more he's on the couch right now talking to his doggy therapist I'm just kidding he's on the couch pouting um and I went back up there and I'm very proud because I'm actually happy because my assistant boxed me back and pushed me to work out, so I did. And now I'm recording my YouTube video. So I got both things done at the end of the day, and literally, I did not want to do either one of them. Mentally, I did not want to do either one of them. But it is amazing how when you make a commitment to yourself, and, and it's, it's really all about, in your head, reminding yourself of that commitment because your body doesn't want to do the work. Your body is like, I'm tired, I deserve a break, I want to get on that couch, I want to pour myself a big old Diet Pepsi. That's what does it for me. For you, it might be whatever. For me, it's Diet Pepsi. And I just want to relax, I want to turn the air conditioning up a little bit, and even sit next to Bijan. And I want to put on some series that makes me happy on Hulu, and wait to see how my husband's first day at his new trial was, and uh, yeah, that's what I really wanted to do. But you know what? I feel even better and I actually need to stretch out my right hamstring while I'm talking to you guys. Because that's one of my other commitments is making sure I get my stretching in. Because one of the things in all my years of working out that I've been really bad at is taking time after my workouts to get my stretching in. And I've noticed as I've gotten older that my calves, sorry about this, you guys. Hey, how's it going? Um, my calves have gotten way tighter, way tighter. I can, really can't wait to work, get these, I gotta build these delts up. Anyway, so let's keep talking and then I'm gonna go because I'm gonna take that little shithead for a walk. Yeah, I called him shithead, I'm allowed to. Besides, quite often he eats his own poop, so he really is a shithead. Um, um, so I did a workout. Um, I believe this will be the fourth YouTube video I've uploaded this week. So bada boom, bada bing, bam, bam, bam. Bijan's like, what the hell is going on with my mother? I'll tell you what's going on, a lot. Um, so I do want to also say this. So my 100 day workout challenge is going well. Um, I'm also going to take him for a walk. So that'll be a nice topper to my workout. It's uh, Texas summer is back. It is beautiful and hot. You know what's interesting about Texas, especially coming from having lived in the Midwest for so long? Once it's summer here, which is basically like nine months out of the year, um, the hottest part of the day is actually like the later part of the day, like four o'clock on. Honestly, like the most intense heat is four, five, I would say like four, five, six o'clock. And, and I, it's crazy because when I lived up north, it, you would always think like, well, the hottest part of the day is, you know, 12, one o'clock, two o'clock. Down here, it's later in the day. It's really crazy. Um, 
just thought I'd share that with you. Um, so the other thing I wanted to tell you is I had an interesting conversation with my friend Debbie this morning and she was calling me. She's like, I've got to talk to you about keto. I've got to talk to you about keto. And we ended up getting on the phone and I was a little surprised that she was telling me she'd gone keto, but she said, I wanted to go keto because I have Hashimoto's and I just really don't want to be on medication for my Hashimoto's the rest of my life. And and I'm, I've heard that keto can really help with inflammation, which is true. Um, and and I, I wanted to go keto, but I've had the worst experience. I got so sick. And I'm like, that's interesting. And I said, well, you know, tell me what you've been eating. She started to finally, like, tell me what she'd been eating. And I mean, my jaw on the other end of the phone, because she was telling me this morning when I was taking him for a walk, um, I was like, so she's like, eggs, bacon, you know, cooked in butter, um, steak, liver, um, bison, hamburger, you know, and then she was naming a couple of other essentially like red meats. And I go, Debbie, did you have like any vegetables? She's like, no, not really. And I said, she goes, it kind of sounds like carnivore, right? And I go, yeah, did you like mean to, to go carnivore? And she's like, no. And I said, did you like read any book that told you to like eat this way? Or I said, were you following any like macros or calories or like I'm supposed to eat this many grams of protein or this, you know, like only red meat? I said, did you ever eat a salad or or, or any, anything like that, like tacos or, and she's like, oh God, no. And I said, can I, can I just give you like a slice of my keto life? Cause, cause I said, I'm just, I said, I'm just going off the top of my head, but like, these are some of the things that are in my keto cookbook. So for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I published a, um, a keto cookbook. It's a keto cookbook with a meal plan. And by meal plan, it's not like me, some, some people say a meal plan, it, it's like a prescription. Meal plan for me is more like, hey, here's, here's my, the recipes that are in this book and here's my idea of, of a sample of 30 days, how you could take the, the meals that are in this cookbook and mix it up because really that's, that's really what a meal plan is. So I, I don't wanna like overdo it. I don't wanna say I'm going around prescribing meal plans for people. I'm not a doctor or a dietitian, but it's more of like, here's a sample of when you're intermittent fasting, here's how you could mix and match and always have something different for 30, 60 days. It's just so easy to have great diversity and enjoy what you're eating and, and continually enjoy what you're eating and have great diversity. And that's the key. That, that's the key to sticking with a diet and making it a lifestyle is having diversity, loving what you're eating, and kind of not feeling like, oh my God, when is this over, right? In, in my opinion. Plus, your body will respond when you have diversity and when you're surprising your body and when it's not eating the same thing all the time and being bored. So I said to, to Debbie, I'm like, so back to my cookbook. I published a digital cookbook um, filled with the recipes and meal ideas that um, Steve and I, my husband is not keto by the way, Steve and I um, have been making and eating the whole time that I've been on keto um, that helped me lose you know, the 30 pounds and 36 inches. These are the recipes that I still make, that I, we still make all the time that we love. Um, some of them are ones that I invented, if you will. Some of them are family recipes, like my dad's Caesar salad recipe, um, which is you know half half of like my my dad made it made it up, and then my sister kind of made part of it her own, and then they blended it, and then I I kind of gave it my twist. Um, some of them are recipes that like. I, I found this meatball recipe and then I found another meatball recipe and then it's part of my grandma's meatball recipe and then I combined them all and then I twisted them and then I took a little bit of advice from this um, guy that I watch on YouTube and I added his advice. You know, I mean, like there's, there's some recipes that are probably like 17 recipes combined. You know, that's how it goes. Um, so there's, but there's 52 recipes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and, and coffee recipes and dessert recipes, um, all low carb that literally are the recipes that are like my go-to recipes because frankly, 
well, they used to be in my pantry. I, be, before I started keto, I had bought so many beautiful looking, wonderful to, to look at coffee, like coffee table book, paleo cookbooks, keto cookbooks, but I never made one recipe out of any of them. Why? Because they had way too many complicated ingredients and things that I would never use. And I don't know, I think when I went keto, I just found myself, instead of want, I don't know, I just kept it more simple. I wanted, I wanted to be able to make stuff that didn't require a lot of ingredients, that was simple, that was easy to just whip up. And that's what is in, in my keto cookbook. So by the way, I'll link it up below. My keto cookbook, it's 27 bucks. It's digital. Um, it's not something that's gonna be shipped to you, so you get it immediately. Um, but I said to Debbie, I'm like, let me just, off the top of my head, share some of the things I'm thinking of that are in my keto cookbook that Steve and I eat all the time. Fish tacos, um, buffalo wings. Um, for breakfast kind of ideas. There's like, you know, eggs on cauliflower rice with, you know, greens and black beans and cilantro on top and hot sauce. Um, turkey taco bowl that we sometimes make with um, beef and that has sour cream on the top and guacamole and again, cilantro on the top. Uh, I said fish tacos, we make fish tacos like three different ways, with three different types of fish. Um, some, sometimes with mango on the top, sometimes with jalapeno. I mean, oh, fresh fish tacos, I could make so many different ways. Um, what are some of our other favorites? Oh, these um, turkey, not turkey, um, tuna, tuna cakes, so they're like, tuna um, burgers with um, fish, no, sorry, tuna fish burgers with, um, not an aioli, um, tartar sauce, that's what I'm thinking of. Salmon cakes, there's um, like a um, salmon sushi roll deconstructed, um, burrito rolls deconstructed, and I'm going through all these different things. I'm like, there's there's like four different salad recipes in there, Cobb salad, you know, well, and she's like, oh my God, Kelly. I'm like, pancakes, keto pancakes. I said, actually, that recipe's not in there, but I'm gonna throw that in. There's a keto cheesecake. She's like, oh my God, and I go, Debbie, that's the way you should be eating. You should be able to eat all kinds of food and, and not just think, why, what makes you think you can only eat like red meat and, and a shit ton of it and liver and, 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 and no, no vegetables, no salads, no diversity and no, and no like different forms of meals. Like you're only eating nothing but meat. Like what makes you think you can't have other forms of, of food and mix it up? Like I just, where did that come from? And she's like, I don't know. I just did it. And then she's like telling me all these health symptoms that she had. And she ended up, you know, like having like, I don't know, I forget how she said it, but she had to go to an eye doctor because she had problems with her eyesight. She had tingling at her feet and keto flu. And she goes, did you have the keto flu? I'm like, no. And she goes, did you have keto breath? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, I, I, I just really didn't have, I, you know, I did, I, I, I was unintentionally sloppy with my keto eating the first three weeks, meaning, Bijan, you can come over here. I will take you out of the, the dog house now. Come here, come here. I'm not gonna be mean to you anymore. We're gonna go for a W-A-L-K -okay in a minute. I'm not gonna say the word because I need to finish my video. If I say W-A-L-K -okay out loud, well, maybe I should say it at the end. I'll say it at the end of the video and you guys can see what happens. He goes into anaphylactic shock. Good times. Um, anyway, um, the th and, and so I did want to make that point is Debbie is just one example. I see, I coach so many women who are like that. And they'll, they'll, there, there are people who are like that who will say, I tried keto, it didn't work for me. Because there are women who will think that that's keto, they do, they'll do keto like that, and they'll either be miserable, or they'll be miserable like that, and they'll gain a ton of weight, or they'll be miserable and get sick, and they'll be like, who would do this? And, and I don't blame them. I said to her, I go, that makes me want to vomit, just hearing what you were eating. So people, there's so much misunderstanding around keto, what it is, what you should eat, 
and that it can be a lifestyle. Um, and that's why a lot of people go, oh, it's not sustainable. I mean, I, that's not sustainable to me. I would throw up if I, I mean, I'm just hearing what she was eating. So I do want to say to all of you, if, if that's what you think keto is, and that's what's holding you back from trying it, please know that is not what keto is. Um, and, you know, know that there is such great diversity out there. Um, I do encourage you, of course, to check out my cookbook. My cookbook would, but, but even, even if you don't buy my cookbook, just hearing what I told you is in my cookbook and the types of foods that, that I eat and consume, I mean, I would die of boredom if I was eating nothing but red meat all the time. And I love red meat, don't get me wrong, I do. So I do want to, you know, for all of you, who have known me for a long time, and for those of you who are new to my channel, um, I struggled for a long time being stuck, unable to lose weight. I've been a fitness fanatic forever, somebody who loves working out, um, loves ha having a fit body, but I was stuck in a body that wouldn't respond to all of my efforts. I was working out all the time. I was dieting all the time. I was eating fitness food, reading fitness magazines, and I was perpetually 20 to 30 pounds somewhere. I, was, I wasn't weighing myself, but I now know because I've lost that weight that I was 20 to 30 pounds overweight. I was able to camouflage it because I've always had a curvy body. And so, you know, most people that knew me didn't look at me like, oh, wow, she's huge. She needs to lose weight. Most people thought I was, you know, your average American, you know, healthy person. And, and I had some muscle too, so it was able to, I, I think I looked, I came off as relatively healthy to most people. And, and most people would be like, why are you always complaining about losing weight? I was able to camouflage it pretty well, but I was just miserable because I knew, I knew that I was well over the weight that I should be. I, and I could not lose weight. And yet when I first went on a reverse diet and then hired my new functional medicine doctor, who is now my current doctor, and then she put me on keto and she explained that keto addresses the insulin problem that so many women who have hormonal in imbalance and insulin issues, which pretty much accompanies most hormonal imbalance issues that, that women have, um, I effortlessly lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. And so for all of you who are tuning in to me, who have known me for a long time, or if you're just discovering me now, I do encourage you to reach out because number one, I have several resources for you. Number one, I've got a free keto quick start guide that's basically what I put together um, it's, it's a resource. It's, it's got some tips, my best practices, my weight loss story, um, some links to some of my favorite products and supplements that I use, some of the recipes that I love, some low carb recipes. You know, if you're starting to kick the tires and think about going keto, I will link down below to my keto cookbook. Um, that might be a good first step for you as well. Um, I also have just created, um, we're doing the beta group of this this week, a five day online keto boot camp for women. That course will be going live in two weeks. So we're doing the beta group this week, but the real course will go live in two weeks. That's gonna be available for uh, just about $197. If you buy the cookbook, hint, hint, you can get the course at 50% off. So that's just a little insider tip there um, because within the cookbook, there's like a little, little sentence in there hidden that says you can get 50% off your next digital product with Kelly Alexa. So I, t I hooked you up there. Um, and then I do also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for women uh, with hormones to help you with your you know, hormone issues, finding, you know, help getting you on the right track with hormone balance, hormone imbalance, um, helping you get connected with the right doctor, helping you figure out where you need to go because women are just generally completely lost and usually don't even know um, where to start. So many women are being treated um, by an endocrinologist or their primary care doctor or their OBGYN and they are on so many 
wrong medications and they, they just don't even realize it. Um, so I do help women usually with a one-time consult um, and then we get them on the right path with the right doctor, getting them blood work and then they can handle themselves. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for keto um, because some women prefer the one-on-one -on -one approach and if it's in their budget um, and that works for them, I do help women uh, that way as well versus the group thing. And every woman that I have helped uh, coaching uh, with keto for, for weight loss has lost over 25 pounds so far. So that is uh, a testament really just to how well this works. If you follow my advice and do it the way I have, you will lose the weight. It is also very important to note, you know, you've got to get your hormones addressed as well, but we talk about that um, both in my group coaching uh, programs as well as one-on-one. -on -one. So feel free to reach out and ask me about any of these in the comments below, but that's all I got for today. So I'm sure Bijan is going to be excited to hear that I'm gonna take him for a WALK. I am very happy to report that I did what I said I was gonna do, and I hope this encourages you um, to join me in my 100 day workout challenge. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow on Friday. It's been a great week. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and please leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. We've got so much coming up on the uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you are also subscribed over at my blog on kellyalexa.com. We've got a lot coming up. Uh, this is a busy week for me with um, us going live with the uh, Keto Boot Camp. But after this week, um, so much coming up on the blog uh, at kellyalexa.com. And um, that's that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember, you are just one change away from an incredibly better tomorrow. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. If you are starting to kick the tires with keto, I have a whole playlist with a ton of videos that you might find helpful. Check them out.